other line because it means that you know it keeps it going for another week and it means that we get a big decider next Saturday night on top of the line on top of the which it won't be like it of course what do you got coming up to afternoon loads of stuff I've got Jeff Brown in the studio so we'll go through every intricate detail of that game with him I've uh, got Matt Scott coming in after 3 o'clock we're talking transfers mm. and asking this question because today is the first day uh, that um, John Terry is not a Chelsea player mm. yeah. So 22 years, there are only two deputies. Well, his contract's run out, has it? It's run out, so he's a free transfer. Okay. Today, now for the first time in two years. Yeah. Uh, so is he the best Premier League of all time? Mm -hmm. We've been talking about that. Is right. he got contenders, but is he, is he, is he the best? And will he be being unveiled as a, a championship player? In I it? think it won't be, it won't be long before he is. Yeah, I think yesterday. And will he then be the best defender in the championship? Mm -hmm. Might be. Might be the best one in the championship yeah. history since he's rebranded. That's what we say. essential products at Juicer, you will earn double juice points all July. So whether you're stocking up on fixings, equipment, hand tools or clothes, accessories, any... Yeah, deciding between tracks to play as today's gritty hit, the response we're getting is absolutely phenomenal. So if you want to try... Not much of a long way. to write record of the week. I had, but but yeah, it would have been a bit small. I thought John, John I thought was he's twenty one. Leaving to a tipping point which resulted in a collapse of the political institution. Where so we are now we Dep yes. Dep where we are now just to stick up. Quality access in the north. So, delivery on an Irish language act 
needs to be seen in the context of delivery on a swathe of agreements which to date have never been delivered upon. And in respect of broader cultural issues, I actively support the idea of the Ulster Scots traditions and culture being nurtured, fostered and supported and encouraged. So it is not a case of advancing an Irish Language Act to the exclusion of other cultural traditions in our society. It is precisely because the Irish national tradition and the Irish cultural identity has been treated with such indifference and discrimination in this society and in this state by parties such as the DUP that we find ourselves in this very intractable political crisis. Um, Mr. Stolfer, what's wrong with that? Well, a couple of points that have been made uh, at the outset. Firstly, for if a language has been treated with such disdain and discrimination, uh, the government, of which my party was a leading part for 10 years, uh, would not, over the course of um, recent years, have spent £171 million on the Irish language, including more than £80 million on Irish medium education. In terms of the agreement uh, to introduce legislation in that regard, that was an agreement that Sinn Féin made independent of the St Andrews Agreement with the then Prime Minister Tony Blair. Uh, I'm sure it will not come as a great surprise to anyone in this room or indeed to the huge bulk of your listeners that 